the fuck going on? But nah, I'm headed on a jet. You hear me? Fill me with my feet up. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they not looking for me, yo. Nobody looking for me. I'm actually good. You feel me? It just, I feel like so much evil was going on. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I don't wish nothing on nobody, but I wish for the best. You feel me? But I'm being completely honest because my shit isn't moved out that house, whatever, whatever. He would have been like, I got court for this, blah, blah, blah. My ass would have been like, fuck it, I'm sliding with you. Not like that, but, bro, if I'm going to court for attempt anything, or just going to court and is that serious, and my life on the line, man. You, man, you don't, you just, you just don't wish, look, you don't wish death on nobody, and you don't wish jail on nobody, you feel know I me, mean? it's just a, you don't care how bad the situation you, you are in with a person, so me, just having a good heart, and who I am, but I'm telling you, God literally ordered my steps to be where I'm at, and not over there, because, I only went to PA because Glo was like, yeah, come to the beach. Glo like, yeah, come to the beach. I'll come to the beach. Glo like, yeah, we're going to the rehearsal. I'm like, I'm coming. And she's like, yeah, I'm ready to do this show. Uh, all right, you want to come on stage with me? Oh, you block me. You ain't going to book your flight. I booked my flight. I'm like, bitch, I'm coming. Then make some money on the side of that. Like, this band in PA. Oh my God, cool. Then I'm like, oh, PA to New York. All right, I'm going to New York. I'm just, because like one thing about when you're going through a toxic breakup, you have to stay busy. You have to stay busy, bro. So, hi, double twins, double those twins. Um, You just got to stay busy. So it was just like I was going with the flow with the Lord. And then he called and texted me and was like, what did he say? I'm ready to go out of town for court. And I'm like, oh, oh, shit. I'm in New York. I'm ready to take the jet to Miami, but I won't go to Miami. I'll come to court. That was my plan because, like I said, my nigga, I don't know. I actually love bro unconditionally. Would I get back with him? Hell no. Hell no. But is he my friend? And I love him? And the kid of my father? Yes. The kid of your father? I mean, my kid, my father and my kid? Yes. Yeah, I love him. He's cool. <laughs> but the other shit, I gotta really glow up. You feel me? This is time for when Krishan just glow up, get on her shit. And then really fight the world with all these beautiful black women, women in, in general, but black women. I like how we stick together, for real, for real. Y'all all the loving on me and shit. I'm fucking with it. Like, what? Shout out to, I, I can name a hella names. Everybody just loving on me, for real, and I'm just like appreciative and, you know. But I'm just glad I didn't, I didn't fly back home. I went from New York. I'm going, like, I'm on my way to Miami right now. Stop dropping your load. Get the fuck off line, bro.
All right, Petey. Because I got business to take care of. But I'm covered, like, by the bread of Jesus. What about my tattoos? Um. That's why we're going to Miami to get them bitches removed. I mean, it's a possible I get a remove. Or just drag, my nigga. I'm not nigga. I don't really like changing shit about me. Like, when everybody was like, get your tooth fixed, I tried it, it don't stay in. So I'm just gonna be cute sometimes when I feel like it. I'm telling you, behind closed doors. I know. I'm trying to think. I know. I could have told you that. Shit was happening, right? And it didn't look like it was going to go in my favor only because I don't. I don't know, bro. You just. My thing is, I never want to be up against a guy. Like a nigga. Like when you're up against a man. And then they get salty about something. Oh, oh God, good luck. Good luck, sis. Good luck, sis. Good luck. Because when I made one direction in my favor, and it was like responsible, not like selfish, it was responsible, and this is what we're going to do because we have to start thinking about Krishan and Krishan and her baby. Like, I'm telling you, all hell broke loose, bro. So, this breakup, not only it just was annoying, it was very like, evil shit just start happening. I'm gonna just be honest. And then it didn't look good for me only because that person is just what he wanted to be at that time. So, I'm just like, whatever. And then I gave the fight, like the fight of what I felt like I had to fight for, I gave it all to God. Like, God, look, I'm just gonna go on the road. I'm gonna go on this stage to stage. I'm gonna pick up this check to check, city to city, jet to jet, and then keep it pushing. But I'm telling you why I'm saying that to myself, bro, shit was happening and it was so detrimental. Like, I'm like, damn, all this positive shit going on. But, but, oh my God. Like, it was so bad, like, and I kept, I kept asking God, like, is this fair? Can he say that? Can he do that? Oh my God, he really right. But it was, it, it had nothing to do with other people who've been involved. It was the things that, like, I had my guard down because he's my man. Well, he was, whatever. A guy, a guy that I love and supported, vice versa. So I trusted him with a lot of things that shouldn't have been trusted with. And it put me in a position to be like, damn, I really got to say, well, I don't want to say everything because it's a lot to say. And it's a lot of money to be saying about. But long story short, it was looking like I would had to go up against something and, not, and it wasn't my fight. Like, I don't deserve that type of shit on some real shit. And to me, I'm not no type press. I'm not money press. I'm not, I don't want child support. I don't even need you on this planet with me to help me provide for my kid. That's not the case. It's just the fact that I had to go through some shit to see like, Oh, you really like evil as fuck. But I love him. He just he got too evil for me. Yeah, but it wasn't like when it got out of hand. I knew it wasn't my fight, bro. I just start getting busy, kick back, and I'm not chasing after nothing but the money that's chasing after me, and then ties and offer. 
but I'm saying like he was thinking I wanted to do a pissing contest with him and I wasn't. I was just really trying to do what was right and what was responsible on my behalf because of what I earned and what I deserved. But in his eyes, and it went left. Like, as soon as I got to pulling up receipts, numbers, and shit, this nigga start pulling up shit that don't add up and start doing shit. Just doing shit. Just doing shit. But I'm not speaking on nobody's behalf. I don't wish no harm to nobody way. I really just want y'all to just pray on this situation if y'all can even give a fuck about it. I'm just venting on live because it's lit on this bitch. Two, what did you learn from the relationship with Blue? Um, People, people, I'm trying to think, people, you can't, you can't, you can't put a person so close to your heart where you put God at. So you will trust a motherfucker and love a motherfucker so hard, how you will love something that, that's meaningful to love. And it can be very detrimental financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, all that. Like, it's like, it's like you have to know who to trust or how to trust them and have boundaries like see with me we'll put boundaries down and if even one of us go left like this is how i feel in the relationship with me and blueface we have boundaries and he'll be like yeah but i don't want you doing this and i don't want you doing that and i'm like well you do this and you do that that's that double standard shit. it's not fair i'm gonna do whatever so since I said I'm gonna do whatever, I'm gonna get the short end of the stick, and I I didn't fuck with that. I didn't like just cause I'm not letting you like you know control me. Like I, I I let you do a lot, but it ain't gonna go that far. Like it went further enough, but it ain't gonna go that far. So I don't know. He's trying to teach me a lesson. And then what I learned from this, I'm trying to think, what I learned from this relationship is don't call it a relationship. Like, this ain't no relationship. You know what a relationship is? <laughs> a relationship is actually good. Boy, shut the fuck up. We childish. He was my friend. We just. He was my friend. And I say he never cheated on me only because we was never together. Like, we was already outside. We, we was never really together. You know what I'm saying? That's why he can't get with me like that because I, 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 I when, when he, go, when he do him, it's not, oh, he just don't have me a man. No, we just not together. Yeah, I be fucking blue, blue, but we ain't together. We be fucking on whatever he be fucking on. That's on, up to him and him. Like, yeah. So I hate when motherfuckers be like, oh yeah, this blue face girlfriend. Y'all know the definition of girlfriend? Girlfriend is not even in the Bible. Like, there's no such thing as these girlfriends and boyfriends. They just your friends. Real shit. Yeah, I'm telling you. When I first met Blue, we were good friends. We were great friends. We was fucking, but nothing was complicated. Me, I'm very territorial. So if I'm fucking on you, you're mine regardless. So if it's not going to work out that way, 